What's going on guys? George from SFA Cichlids here. I have a lot of exciting things to share in this video as well as an update on two of our tanks. If you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe if you're into African cichlids and fish keeping videos and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I've noticed that a lot of the big YouTubers that used to keep African cichlids seem to have moved on to something else such as IFG and Inventory Gang. Thankfully, Ben Olkart still makes educational videos about these fish, but there's not a lot of information about them besides that. We have been keeping African cichlids for the past 10 years and breeding for the past 5. My girlfriend just finished school and we will be moving soon. The next year is going to change everything for us. And the next year we plan to convert a 2 car garage into a full fish room and we want to take you through the whole process. Our channel will be a one stop shop for all things African cichlids from aquarium setups, filtration, breeding, identification, general fish keeping information and eventually even a stock list of fish you can actually see on YouTube. As you can see in the background of this video that is our 120 gallon African cichlid tank. We have mostly haps and peacocks in this tank at the moment, a synodontis catfish and a couple in Buna. Last time I gave you an update on the tank was about a year ago, so I figured I'd do one now. Also further on in the video is an update on our 20 gallon Sinotilapia Kobu breeding colony. Those guys look awesome now, so stay tuned to the end so you can see all of that. So we've had this tank up and running for the past five and six years. The stock has changed a little bit, but we still have fish in here that are probably that have been with us four to five years it's not most of them as you guys know in african cichlids you know aggression is a big issue and you do lose fish sometimes because of it it's one of the topics that i plan on covering in the future but we had this really nice pink dragon blood that we got from imperial tropicals probably about four years ago and he was one of the the tank bosses he was pretty much a tank boss but he was an absolute douche and what ended up happening is that all the fish went up against them and they all beat him down because he was such a bully but as you can see now uh there's not one dominant tank boss i think everybody more or less has their territory the venustus keeps everyone in check uh luckily our venustus is not a big bully um, we also have the Iceberg Friar Eye that you can see on the bottom left there. He's a pretty dominant fish as well as our pink OB Dragon Blood there in the middle of the screen. Our yellow lab just pretty much controls that bottom right area, those caves. He shares them with our Synodontis Catfish. And um, the rest of the fish here, most of them are haps. We have a couple of Dragon Bloods, a couple OBs. We have a Sinotilapia Kobu and the Yellow Lab with the Synodontis Catfish. And I think we're going to leave the stock like this for now. We did lose our Intermediate, so we might be looking into adding an Intermediate and maybe one or two other fish. But for now, the fish are big. Most of the fish you see on that screen are six to seven inches. So now moving on to the Kobu tank. This is one you guys haven't seen in forever. So pretty much what they've been breeding in this tank without us actually taking the fry out because they have so many little spots that the fry can actually survive that they've just reproduced and a lot of those fish that are in there were not originally part of our breeding group but they're all living together now and I think it's a beautiful colony. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to upgrade them to a bigger tank, but for now they seem to be doing good in this tank. It's only a 20 gallon, but keep in mind these fish max out at around 3 inches, which probably like the big uh, dominant albino one that you saw is probably around 3 inches. And they get weekly water changes, so they do really good. They probably do better uh, overcrowded like this and with a lot of hiding holes uh, just because the males won't be able to pick on the females. The Mbunas are way more aggressive when it comes to breeding. They will beat the crap out of the females even worse than if you're breeding peacocks or haps. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, I also have, as you can see, the albino males. I have about four of them. You can see one in the cave there on the left. The one that keeps coming out and chasing everyone, that's the dominant male. But the other male that's in that cave right there on the left, he's pretty dominant as well. 
Then we have two subdominant males that already show color. You can see one on the top right there. And then we have a regular Kobu that's a male that's in the middle of the screen there. Um, his yellow comes and goes. The albinos, the cool thing that I've noticed is that most of the time when they're dominant, their yellow stays like very, very vibrant, vibrant as you can see. But the regular Kobu, you can see he's not nearly as big as the albino, so he's not obviously not going to be that dominant. But when he starts chasing, like his yellow just really pops and he looks really, really... You might also notice a couple females holding in the video where uh, we're going to get to that. Uh, I haven't stripped fry in over a year now. I've just been growing out what I have and selling what I had left. I, I, I went through a time where I was working a lot and I didn't have much time to dedicate to the fish or to YouTube, unfortunately, which is one of the things I'm trying to change now because every time that I've looked for a job, I've always wanted something kind of like part-time-ish. So I at least have, you know, three days a week off so I could dedicate to this. But in my profession as a chef, the starting pay as a cook is not very much. And then if you want to move up to a chef position, then it usually requires you to do anywhere between 50 and 60 hours a week at least. So you pretty much forget about anything else in your life. And sometimes you even work 70, 80, 90, 100 hours a week on that. But getting back to the point, we will be stripping the females soon. And I'm hopefully going to have fry here in the next month from different breeding groups as well as we're bringing some fish in from cichlid lovers. I'm planning on doing an unboxing early next week so stay tuned for that. And if you watch this far I got a little treat coming up for y'all. You can see some of the albinos as fired up as I've ever seen them. They're actually, there's actually like a three way fight that's gonna happen and they just look amazing. And if you watch this far, please do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Lots of big things happening in the next year and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys so make sure not to miss them. I'm going to leave you all with a couple links here at the end. On the top right of the screen, you have my most recent video. On the bottom right of my screen, it's going to be one of my playlists. And on the bottom left is a link to my channel to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.